Coach, it's Michael Don and Peter, how, I mean, just from that experience of yesterday, before we even talk about your team, how good do the Cowboys look? Um, they did a nice job, man. They were, uh, uh, obviously, defensively, we know how good they are. I feel like um, offensively, they did a really nice job uh, playing an efficient brand of football, uh, staying ahead of the sticks and converting on third down, which, uh, especially in the first half, I mean, I think we saw 50 plays on defense um, in the first half, which is a very, very winning, re uh, good winning recipe if uh, if you're the Cowboys. Now, are you, were you a little bit disappointed in, in the performance of your defense? Uh, C.D. Lamb went off, had a great game. Uh, they scored 30 points, um, and you know this is this is a defense that you know they 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 themselves said you know compared themselves to the 85 Bears. Were you a little disappointed in the performance? Yeah, for sure. And it's um, and like I said, it, it wasn't um, you know C.D. had 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 a couple of good plays, but uh, you know he, he it, it was disappointing in the sense that we were just just couldn't get off the field on third down you know it was disappointing in the sense that uh we didn't make the calls we needed to make when we needed to make them uh from a coaching standpoint it was disappointing in the sense that we couldn't make the plays when we needed to make them you know it's uh, uh from a from a takeaway standpoint but uh it um yeah it's frustrating because uh, you you watch the tape and and you're you're trying to figure out where could we be better and it's from an efficiency standpoint we were just a step behind uh felt like we were stuck behind the entire day it's something i know will get fixed but uh you know but a lot of credit goes to dallas i mean they're they uh they're a fast physical football team and uh and they did a really nice job why was sauce not on lamb um that's that we we don't play man coverage that much that's that's one mm -hmm. um and, uh we are we are a left and right team they they uh, they were putting him in the slot. They're lining him up at three, two, one. Uh, so it wasn't as simple as okay, you just go line up at your number one. Um, so we're it's just not it's just not our our brand of football. But Sauce wants that. I mean, he said after the game that you know he would talk to you guys that he wants to cover that guy the whole game. Is that a possibility, or would that be a complete change of the defense? That, that'd be a, a complete change for the defense. There's there's a. Uh, and other guys that have to get aligned off of that and you're looking at exclusively playing man coverage or some variation of man so oh well, that's fair is it, is it um is it something other teams can go to school on to where they can put their and best that, receiver in a spot that sauce can't cover them well yeah that that's always going to be the case and it's like i said with with regards to um you know, we got the utmost confidence in DJ and the utmost confidence in Michael Carter to go play man coverage. I, I think it was one, um, I don't have the stat, he had one explosive in a man coverage, or not man coverage, but in a one-on-one -on -one situation, if you will, on DJ, it was a double move, uh, tight window, uh, high ball catch, which was a good play by, the, by him. But uh, otherwise, it, it was more so a slant route that broke for 30, uh, a seam ball, um, that Tony Adams, it was a bang bang play with Tony Adams on that, just finding soft spots in the zone. Um, that uh, that that really helped, I, I guess, for for them. They took advantage of. So there was a lot of little soft spots that they were finding him in, and and in the process found a couple of explosives. But it wasn't, hey, let's line them up over here and let's just abuse this guy. Um, like I said, it was one catch for him on DJ. Otherwise, they did a really nice job getting him through our zones. And uh, and being efficient with the ball. All right. So the one time I think that sauce was on him, that was that was the almost pick six. Do you yeah. play the what if game if he has that and runs it into the house that the game is so much different? Oh yeah, the quarterback is spooked. Um, the play caller is spooked. Uh, the air is taken out of the stadium and moment. All, all of it changes for sure. That's a, that's a real thing. But uh, it didn't happen. We got to step up and make a play to stop the drive and. Uh, that uh, that drive led to eight points, so it went from 14-10 to 18-7, and uh, which we ended up having a, a really nice uh, uh, two-minute drive at the end of the first half to, to get more points. But it, uh, like I said, it just it just wasn't our day defensively. How, uh, coach? How would you grade Zach so far in these first two games? Um, you know, yesterday um, under duress. 
like I said, with that with that uh, with that pass rush, I thought he did a really nice job, uh, especially in the pocket, stepping up in the pocket. I thought he delivered a strike. That 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 ball to Garrett was an absolute strike. Um, uh, that that in stride, 68 yard touchdown, which was awesome. Thought he was really really good in that two minute drive. Um, uh, taking what the defense gave and also being able to use his feet to go get some more yardage. I, I think he's, we, we scored a touchdown at that, the back, at that D lineman just pips the back t- uh, part of the ball. He has Garrett in the end zone for a touchdown on the last play before, uh, before the end of the first half. Uh, so I thought he did a really nice job in that regard. Uh, kept us in it. Like I said, it was a one-score game with us getting the ball coming out of the locker room despite them having the ball for... I felt like the entire first half. Um, but we came out in the second half. We just couldn't get the ground game going. Um, uh, we were uh, too many negative plays, fumbles. Um, and we, like I said, it just, it, by the time, it, we just couldn't get into a rhythm. It, just, it was just an awkward game uh, from an offensive standpoint with the lack of opportunity mm. they had throughout the that's all I want to get to in the lack of running the football and not many attempts really in the second half, despite it being a one-possession game in the second half. Why do you think that you ran so few times? Well, like I said, you know, be, before the two-minute drive uh, in the first half, I think they were on the field. I think um, the plays run, their offense, I believe, had almost 50 plays. And before the two-minute drive, I think we were around 13. And um, if you eliminate all the third downs and second 11 pluses there was eight opportunities to call a 50 50 where you'd say 50 50 run or pass and um and we ran the ball five times in those situations so so in the first half we weren't on the field we had 13 plays Mm -hmm. uh in the second half same thing i think uh um you know the first drive goes three and out if i'm not mistaken the second drive i believe that was the second place fumble um and then from there, it's a three-score game, and we're playing catch-up. Well, your thoughts then on your player, Brees Hall, tweeting out, and then he removed the tweet. You know, I only had four carries. So, obviously, he's not happy with the amount of carries he had. Have you spoken to him about that? Yeah. I mean, just I'm, I'm, we're all frustrated, but, you know, it's hard to get a guy the ball when he's on the bench because he's watching football. And, uh, like I said, we needed to be better at getting the offense the ball back, and we weren't. And, uh so, yeah, of course you want to get Priest the ball more. You want to get Delvin the ball more. You want to get Garrett the ball more. You want to get Lazard the ball. You want to get all of them the ball. Um, but when you can only get 40 snaps on offense, there's not enough footballs to go around. So, um, you know, I, I know everyone's frustrated. We're all frustrated. It was a, not a good game, mm-hmm. but putting it nicely. And, uh, you know, we just got to pick ourselves up, learn, learn what we can, and... Uh, it's one of 17. We got 15 more of these left, and just like last week wasn't the, the world championship, this isn't the apocalypse either. So we just we got a big division opponent coming in, and that's that's where we got to put our focus. You know, at least Michael and I are older, old school. You know, as far as the way we look at sports, but like Michael mentioned that. You know, Brees Hall takes it to Twitter, Sauce, like, deleted his account. Obviously, he was interacting and just couldn't take it anymore. You know, from a coach that's also kind of old school, I mean, how much should we read into social media? Do we exaggerate things because it's on social media, or is it something you think about, that this is another way for players to show their displeasure or another distraction that players that uh, during our time didn't have to worry about? Yeah, I think... I think social media, and this is just me talking. I mean, mm-hmm. it's not uh, my player on, on our players here, but um, there's already so much lost in translation when you text, right? And so, social media is a form of texting because mm-hmm. you're reading. You're not really understanding context or tone when you read. Um, and so, when you're when you're typing something out. You're not going to be able to fill in, especially since, I, from my understanding, there's character limitations. You're not going to get everything you want to say, and no one's going to read it anyway. They're just going to grab the, the piece that they need, and, and we're off and running. And uh, Brees gets it. He knows. His frustration is, well, shoot, we'll do better if I touch the ball more. Of course we will. Of course we'll do better if you touch the ball. But we can't get you the ball because the defense is on the field. You know, so... Um, and he gets that part, and that's the part that, that got lost in the whole thing. And he, 
you know he understands it and he doesn't he doesn't have malicious bone in his body it's just a uh it's one of those deals where it's like you you try to encourage these young men just take a deep breath go to sleep wake up in the morning and if you have something to say go say it but you know it's a um uh, it's just one of those deals that they the instant gratification of social media and hey, what are they saying about me and the dopamine that comes it's it's today's society. What are you going to do with it? 